Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class B Plus motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. And folks, this one probably won't make it to the weekend. Today we're looking at, I'll get out of the sun a little bit, a 2003 Trail Light by R Vision. This is a Model 250. It's only 26 foot long, bumper to bumper at its longest point. It's only got 67,000 miles. It's a nice little motorhome, folks, and these things are just about impossible to find. I got a big awning, covers pretty much the entire side. Of course, our vision is owned by Monaco Coach Corporation, same brand that builds Holiday Rambler, Beaver, the Monaco buses, and much more. The Class B Plus, these are to me, these are a great medium or a meet in the middle type motorhome because it's bigger than say one of these little class B's and it's smaller than a class C so you get better fuel mileage you're easier to drive but you're not so small that you don't even have room to change your mind in like you do with a lot of the class B camper vans so like I said it's a good kind of meet in the middle compromise that's why they call them Class B Plus. It's bigger than a B, but smaller than a C. And you can see, I'm right next to a Jayco Greyhawk, and you can see how much taller and longer it is than this little 26-foot trail light. Striping and finish for the year model looks great. Got a little bit of fading on some of the decals, but folks, heck, this thing's 16 years old. You gotta expect something like that. Tires look great. Got a 4KW on-end generator. Now, the generator, folks, um, I've already turned in a service ticket on it. It'll run for a minute, and I'll show you, and it dies. Chances are it's a fuel filter. Got 390 hours on it, so I don't think it's hurt. And, of course, we'll make sure we'll probably have that fixed in the next day or so. But I'm just letting you know that's why I don't have a generator running. But everything else, folks, the inside, everything looks good. Uh, dash air is ice cold. On a Ford E350 chassis, it's got the 6.8 liter Triton V10. Plenty of power. In fact, this little thing will run like a hot rod, to be honest with you. Uh, that's the same motor they'll put in a big 40 foot. And you've got it here in a, in a little 26 foot. And be honest with you, folks, you look at a uh, uh, full size Ford pickup truck, an F-150, just a half ton truck. I mean, they're almost 21 feet long. This is only five foot longer and uh, then F-150 and not much longer than a conversion van. So these are the perfect couples motor home. It's easy to drive, easy to park. And thanks to the aerodynamics compared to the Class C, you're gonna get a little better fuel mileage too. Let's look inside this little 250 trail light and it is about as small as you can get and still get a stationary bed. Alrighty. As I step inside, folks, there's no check engine lights on the dash. Um, 67, 654 is the exact miles. Windshield looks great. Got the backup camera system overhead that works great. Uh, we just drove this in from Kentucky. Uh, did great. You can see the seats. Carpets look almost brand new. Removable table. There's some books and manuals. You've got the opposing sofas. Now this is just a small sofa right here. It's, it does fold down and make a little bed, but I mean, it would just be for a small child. And I mean a small one. And then of course your main guest bed is gonna be this bigger sofa right here that folds down, makes a double bed. And then you got your bed in the back. JVC flat screen TV. A lot of the LED, most of the lights have been changed with LEDs. And this table is removable, so you got full access to the front and back. Look here, you got the corner bed, corner bath, floor plan. You got a two way RV refrigerator freezer. <laughs> Rooftop air, everything you need. I mean, just for a small motor home, you really can't beat it, folks. Um, three burner stove top, that's a microwave confection oven. Double, double sink, full size bed in the back. Look here, you got the rear corner bathroom. It's everything you need, folks. Huh. Big closet right here. 
They didn't waste any space, I'll say that. I mean, every little nook and cranny's got some kind of storage in it, which I guess when you're looking at something this small, that helps. Hookups in there. Let's see here what we got. Behind door number two. More storage. Not bad. You know, this is a great little motor home for a weekend trip for a couple. I mean, it can sleep four on paper, but realistically, it's a couple's motor home. This is something that, let me put it to you this way, folks. If you can drive a van, you can drive this RV, no problem. Don't even worry about it. Heck, if you can't drive this thing, you don't need to be driving a car, to be honest with you. It's that easy to drive and park. And um, it's comfortable. I'll give it that. I mean, it's big enough that you can be halfway comfortable even if you're on a long trip. 26 foot long is, is relatively small in the world of RVs, folks. Man, if you drop any smaller than this, you're going to lose that stationary bed because then you're going to have one that you got to fold a table or a couch out just to make your bed at night. This one, you've already got a bed made out. Now, folks, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this unit, and I normally don't buy them like this, but these are so hard to find. I haven't, I've been looking for one of these forever. I've got every one of these I get that's under 28 feet long is sold in a day or two. And this one's going to be the size. It's going to sell for the weekend. But it has been smoked in a little bit. Not bad. I'm not saying a, a family of chain smokers has been in here, but it does have a little bit of a whiff. I'm going to have my cleaning crew get in here hopefully tomorrow sometime and steam clean the upholstery, the carpets, uh, the mattress, the bedspreads, and, and, and seats and do everything they can to deep clean this thing to get the majority. And they'll get most of it out. And I'll tell you that right now. They'll get a lot of it out. There may be just a little bit of lingering uh, smoke, but we're going to do our best to get that smell out. And for those of you who smoke, of course, that's not even going to bother you because you probably wouldn't notice it. I don't smoke myself personally, and we always try to stay away from smoker units. But this is just that rare occasion we can't find these things. You get online, folks. Try to find one of these with decent miles like this for this price, folks. You're just going to come right back to this one. 24 9 and I'm not trying to get rich off this thing, folks, 24-9. And that includes us. We've already, we're going to fix the generator, of course. We're going to check the refrigerator. We're going to go through this thing. Now, we plugged it up and checked the fridge. And the, we checked the air conditioner, the front, and the roof air. They're both ice cold. We checked the TV. We checked the lights. All the major stuff works. But we're, except the generator, of course, that's when we discovered that it only run for a minute and then die. So, um obviously a fuel filter in fact i'll show you just so you know i'm not just telling you a, a, a story there and i'm 90 percent certain it's just as simple as a fuel filter the generator switch of course in here in the bathroom and uh 390 hours you can see this light will come on at primes so that means your fuel pump's working and you can see It runs for a minute and dies. All right, that's obviously a fuel filter because it's got enough fuel. It's letting enough fuel to prime it, but not to run under a load. So obviously we're going to take care of that at 24.9, have it running flawlessly. But I'm just letting you be aware of it. Um, do you have any questions, folks, about this motorhome? I know the smoke thing may throw a lot of you off, and I'm sorry. I would rather tell you up front something like that than you drive two or three hundred miles down here to look at it wanting to buy it and realize that it's got smoke odor in it because some people that's an automatic no some people it's not so everybody's different like I always say in all my videos folks that everybody's got different opinions about everything including what what kind of condition a 2003 model motorhome should be in be nice enough for them to buy it and that also includes cigarette odor it's not that bad. I'll tell you right now, it's not that bad. My cleaning crew gets in here. We'll uh, we'll do what we can to even knock it down even even worse or even better. So, um, so you probably won't even notice it. But I'd rather let you know about it. You know, I don't I don't hide the truth. You know, people do use these things. These are used RVs. Some people smoke. 
in used RVs. Some people smoke in their vehicles. Some people smoke in their motorhomes. That's just part of life. They smoke in their homes. Um, and that's just part of it, folks. Um, but anyway, if you've got any questions about this little motorhome, give us a call. But please don't wait long because it's not going to last long. Uh, at $24.9, that's a very fair price considering what you're buying and how hard it is to find it. If you've got something like this for sale, folks, let me know. I'm, if it's in nice condition, I'll make you a generous cash offer for it and come pick it up. Um, if it's in with decent miles and in nice condition. And if you've got one of those little Class B vans, I trust me, folks, I'm looking for them. They're hard to find. Thank you for watching my video. This is a this is a, a, a clean little motor home. It's going to make somebody a nice little motor home that's not uh, that's not so huge that you can't stay in it anywhere. I mean, 26 foot, folks, you can stay at any campground with that. Doesn't have a slide out. Doesn't really need one. And I mean, it's something you can just pull into a parking lot, spend the night somewhere at a Walmart or something if they'll let you. And uh, I mean, it's something very simple. I mean, you just park. Turn, uh, turn around and in your seat and you've got full access to the RV, take you a nap. Great traveling vehicles too, folks. Great traveling vehicles. 24-9, you're going to get the unit checked out. That includes a generator and all that. 24-9, uh, we're going to make sure everything on our standard inspection sheet works flawlessly. And if it doesn't, we're going to fix it at no additional cost to you. So you're guaranteed that 24.9 price. It doesn't go up because we spent more than we planned on for this RV to uh, to pass our inspection. After the unit's been cleaned up, or after it's been checked out, my cleaning crew cleans it inside and out. And this is how it came in, folks. We're going to go ahead and get in here probably tomorrow, the next day, and do our best to fumigate this thing and get that the majority of that cigarette smell out of here. It may have a little lingering effect, but it's certainly not, I don't think it's that bad. And as rare as these things are, I probably wouldn't let that bother me from buying one because especially how hard these things are to find. So, but anyway, if you've got any questions, folks, pick up a phone, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Please, folks, call ahead, especially on something like this. It probably won't make it to the weekend. Call ahead, make sure it's still available before you drive any significant distance down here. I never delete my YouTube videos because they help our Google search ranking and so many people use them for informational purposes. And um, I never delete the ad offline until the deals actually closes and funds. So just because it's on there doesn't mean it doesn't have a deposit. And with, when it's something like this that you just can't look online and find just anywhere, all it takes is a is a credit is a five minute phone call on a credit card that's off the market. So call ahead before leaving to come down here and look just to make sure. Um, if you don't, well, I'll just show you this video where I said it and tell you I told you so. But anyway, if you're watching this video, you should already know that. Um, but this is a nice little motorhome, folks. Don't let it get away. I'm looking for some more of these, but. I'll be honest with you, if it's under 28 foot, the market has just dried up. Uh, it's crazy. You know, like the little Class B vans, you know, I normally try to stock seven, eight, nine, ten of those at any given time. I, I can't find them. Not in the price range that I sell them for. I think I've got two out here now. That's it. And this is kind of the next step up, and this is the only one I've, one of these I've got that's under 30 feet because they're just so hard to find. Um, if you want to go to, please go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com. I made it real easy for you if you're on YouTube. Um, go down to the video description, first paragraph, there'll be a link to my Class B Plus page where you can see all my available Class B Pluses that I have right now, um, as well as pictures, specs. Um, I couldn't find a factory brochure on this. So if any of y'all happen to run across one, send me the link, please, and I'll uh, I really appreciate it. But I couldn't find one just doing a I searched for about 10, 15 minutes. I couldn't find one. So um, it was 2003 R Vision Trail Light by Monaco Coach, model 250, Ford V10, 67,000 miles, 390 hours on the generator, which I guarantee will run flawlessly 
probably this by this time tomorrow or the next day. And um, it's nice. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Financing is available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment is mandatory. And um, nationwide delivery is available. I've got no problem driving this thing anywhere in the country. We drove it in from Kentucky, a few hundred miles. It did great. Uh, driver gave it a good review. So I think it's a, uh, I've got no problem taking it to you. I don't care where you live. And all we charge you on delivery is whatever it costs us to bring it to you and get my driver back home. We don't make any profit on delivery, folks. We just ask you to cover expenses. And depending on how far away you live, we may send one of our drivers. Um, I may, or if you live, you know, two or 3,000 miles away, I may also put a, a U-ship auction. So uh, I may not be able to get you an exact quote right away. I can give you an estimate, but it may go up or down depending on what the final bid is on the auction. Uh, as far as the shipping quotes and it's a great resource I've used them successfully for the last couple of years on these long distance runs because you got to think folks I only got a few drivers and somebody drive you know lives in California that's a week trip out there and back and that's hard driving and uh, then he's got to rest for a day or two so I would rather sometimes use a third party service that's guaranteed and um and ship it to you that way as well so if you got any questions about any of that give us a call folks that's the first step 706-965-7929 parkway rv center it's family owned and operated since 1968 where we've been here for 50 plus years um, i mean we sell five to six hundred used rvs a year because of our prices and the quality of our rvs and and we buy stuff that people normally can't buy like this one right here that other dealers couldn't find if they wanted to because we've got 50 years worth of connections and that influence goes a long way to getting a hold of the of the best stuff before the big dealers get them and um in 50 years too folks we got a lot of experience a lot of experience we've always been here always going to be uh, there's generations of families that have purchased from us and we did away folks you know we we've got 50 years of customer feedback customer suggestions to go by and um, you know we don't have any extra fees customers hate fees they don't want surprises we don't want surprises so when I, we, we were a one price store that means we're haggle free in other words if you want this unit checked out and cleaned as well as uh, you get 21 nights of free camping up to seven nights at a time. You get a walkthrough demonstration after this unit's been through service and then it gets cleaned up. Uh, you get the walkthrough demonstration. We'll show you how to operate everything on it. And um, you get, of course, drive out tag, starter kit, five gallon bucket with all your camping essentials and much more. All that stuff's included for the one price of 24.9 plus applicable sales tax. If you got a question, how much your sales tax will be, when and where you got to pay it, contact my sales department. They'll give you an estimate. Sales tax laws vary depending on the state you reside, uh, what you live in. Excuse me, got a little tongue tied there. And um, sometimes they even vary on how you pay for it, whether it's cash, a trade-in, financing, or a combination. So don't guess on that. Call my sales department, 706-965-7929. And ask them the following four things. First, make sure it's still available. No sense going any further if it's not. And if it's not, ask them what we have that's similar to it. Second question you want to ask my sales department is to send you over a list of all the systems for that option A, 24-9, haggle-free, one price, price. All the systems that we inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay. And they'll send you over a copy of that list. And once you receive it via email or fax, they'll be happy to go over it with you, tell you what it covers, what it don't cover, answer any questions you have about it. Third question you want to ask them is what the current lead time is for a Class B Plus checkout. Right now, we're looking at about a week. I mean, we can, and this one right here, besides that generator, should go through fairly quickly, um, which should be fixed before you even buy this unless somebody just buys it like they did last night and bought one in two hours after the video went online. But um, they'll be happy to send you that list, same inspection sheet, same inspection process we put a $100,000 motor on through. Um, and also, 
Uh, the last question you want to ask them, of course, is your sales tax, how much your sales tax will be, when and where you got to pay it. And uh, and now if we also have an option B, and you can ask them that as well. Option B is the as-is price. And as-is means, of course, we're going to fix the generator, we're going to clean it good, but everything else is as-is. In uh, other words, we're not going to inspect anything else. We're not going to check anything else. We know the fridge and the air works. We know it runs good. We know the dash air works. We know the lights work. But that's as far as we've gotten. And, of course, we'll fix the generator. So if you want to price on option B, as long as you understand that option B means that you, the buyer, if you take option B, are 100% responsible for any current or future repairs this RV may need or will need, and there's no excluded systems to that. It doesn't matter if it's running gear, it doesn't matter if it's RV components, if it's tires, if it's whatever it happens to be, it's on your dime to fix it. As long as you understand that, we'll give you a price on option B and it saves us time and money, which we pass along to you. Now the advantages of option B over A is pretty obvious. You, we've already got a great price on this one. That option A price at 24.9 is very, very fair considering what you're buying. But you already you get a discounted price off that already low price. Plus, you get to take it home the same day you pay for it. Instead of paying for it, leaving it here for a week, or ever how long the current lead time is, because it changes from time from day to day. And um, you could take it home that day. So definitely some advantages to it and disadvantages to either one. So this is what I recommend doing, folks. And I know people look at me when I'm like I'm crazy when I say this, but there's a lot of truth to this, and you're something you're not going to hear many dealers say because they dealers want you to buy sight unseen because that way if there's an imperfection they, and they didn't tell you about it or disclose it, chance you know time you figure it out you've already paid for it, took possession of it, it's yours. This is what I recommend. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what I recommend to all my listeners and all my customers. If you are able to, come out and look at this RV in person. I know the internet has made it so easy to buy sight unseen, and we sell two or 300 units a year sight unseen. We never even meet the people, and they don't know what they bought till it pulls up their driveway. But if you are able to, if your schedule permits you, come out and look at this little motorhome. Come out, spend some time in it, get to know it, test drive it, and then decide if this is the right one for you. Um, this way, nobody has any regrets, any buyer's remorse. Everybody's on the same page. You know what you're getting before you buy it. And um, as nice as these things are, folks, this is still a 16-year-old used vehicle. It's not perfect. It's going to be cosmetic imperfections. You know, we, we don't cover cosmetics. We cover the mechanical parts of it, the stuff that would ruin your trip. If it's got a scratch, a ding, a dent, uh, a, a stain, or uh, a worn spot, or anything like that, that's part of buying a 16-year-old vehicle, folks. We can't do nothing about that. So come out and look at it, and then be your own judge. Now, if you can't, we understand. You know, We'll do our best to accommodate you, to answer all your questions, and address all your concerns. We'll send you additional pictures. We'll even take a custom video if you let the salesperson know what you want to see a video of. Uh, we can even recommend a third-party inspection, so a so couple of different third-party inspection services in our area. It would do If you're willing to pay for it, they'll do an inspection on it. So we'll do everything we can to accommodate you. Um, but if possible, even if you have to take a plane down here, which we will pick you up for free at Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport during business hours, which is 15 minutes from here, um, come out and look at it. I mean, just that, that just treat it like you're buying a 16-year-old car or a 16-year-old motorcycle or boat. So, anyway, but like I said, if you can't, we'll do our best to accommodate you, but we do prefer to shake everybody's hand that we do business with. And, you know. I know that's kind of the old-fashioned way of doing it, but um, that's just the way we are. Family owned and operated for 50 years, folks. Three generations. You know, we've always been here and we're not going anywhere. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, yeah, this is a great little motor home. I'm going to try to buy some more of these, but they're just so hard to find. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. 
and hit the notification settings, the bell, so you can get notified every time I post a video. I've got almost 13,000 subscribers, and I thank each and every one of you, and I'm never would, I never thought it'd ever get this big when I started doing this several years ago. Hope I've given y'all some good information, some, um, some tricks to, for when you buy somewhere else, um, and more, and I'm going to continue doing that. But thank you for watching, folks. If you have any questions, give us a call. No commission salespeople, no games, no gimmicks, no trouble, no lies, no half-truths, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to say all commission salespeople are bad, but a commission salesperson is only there for themselves, and they're there to make as much profit as they can for the dealership because they get 25% of whatever profit they make the dealer. So the more they get you to pay for something, the more they take home to their family. So it's like the dealerships are rewarding them for ripping you off. All of our salespeople are salary based. There's no commission. And it just makes it a whole lot more pleasant buying and selling experience for everybody. Um, that's the way our customers prefer it, the way our salespeople prefer it. Thank you for watching. Folks, if you have any questions, give us a call. 706 965 7929. Numbers answered 24 7. You can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com as well as um, check out our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.